Judge Coney Barrett is confirmed. Should she recuse herself from any election related cases? All right, folks, let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Do you intend to try to confirm her before the election? Thank you. This is why the American people elected President Trump. In 2016, there was a sharply differing vision for the kinds of justices that would be appointed to the court. I think the president's decision to nominate Judge Barrett may well have been the most important decision of his presidency. And in making this nomination, the president was fulfilling the promise he made to the American people. The next few weeks promised to be a circus. Uh, unfortunately, I expect my Democratic colleagues to do everything they can to attack Judge Barrett. We've already seen the beginning of this to attack her family, the attacks have been despicable, and I very much hope we don't see them recreate the personal smears that marred the Kavanaugh confirmation hearing. The, the entire reason that the Senate should act and should act promptly to confirm a, a ninth justice is so that the Supreme Court can resolve any cases that arise in the wake of the election. Uh, this election is a close contested election. Joe Biden has already stated that if he doesn't win, he intends to contest the legitimacy of the election. If we see multiple cases challenging the election, if the court were to have only eight justices, it could divide 4-4, and under the Constitution, a 4-4 court can't decide anything. We could face conflicting court of appeals judgments simultaneously with no Supreme Court able to resolve that. That would be an untenable situation. It, it would create a constitutional crisis. That's part of the reason the Senate needs to act and act swiftly, so that we have nine justices. Uh, what I'm looking for, and I think she stands for, is the rule of law. I think uh, following congressional intent, rather than personal views of what the law of Congress passes, and particularly that's important when it comes to interpretation of the Constitution.